Well, welcome to the Sand Garden. The Sand Garden is a $15,000 home that heats and cools itself, protects itself from fire, processes its own waste, is really beautiful, and it provides excellent wildlife habitat, and used to provide a lot of its own food. But now it's going to produce all of its own food and a bunch left over for others. This is made possible by a wonderful permaculture duo of Malia Groom and Jordan Hasia and their outstanding organization and credible edibles. So I've decided to document the production of the food forest and often there are just little chats where I caught Jordan working and this is one of those chats involving the coyote bush, a pioneer plant. There's Jordan, and he's hacking the daylights out of my coyote bush. Let's go over and ask him why. Hey, Jordan, so how come you're kicking hell out of my coyote bush? Well, the coyote bush has reached its mature stage in its successional process. It's a pioneer species, which actually creates conditions for trees to come in. You can actually see three, oh, uh, four different oak trees underneath the story of coyote brush. And they shed leaves every year. They're uh, non-deciduous, so they have leaves every every moment of the year. You can see the soil is not only a mixture of sand, but it's got a lot of organic. Wow, growth. that's a big difference. You can see you get down. Yeah. You get down the sand here the bottom and there's at least three inches of organic matter, black soil for life. So now we're going to come in here, we're going to actually transplant these oak trees to around the property and actually plant food in here. So we're going to use this area and still leave the coyote bush here for a screen, but just hack it back and it'll just pump right back and, and keep a upper story la layer, upper story level here. Well, uh, after he had shown me that, I got to thinking, how do I know that this pioneer plant uh, has created soil in excess to that that would be found on other non-pioneer plant areas of the property? So we went up into a meadow and it had a lot of uh, horse manure put on it perhaps 10 years ago. Let's take a look. So, I raised the issue, how did I know that the soil under that coyote bush was that much richer than anywhere else? So now we're just in a meadow that actually has had a garden in it in the past. And Jordan's just gonna go through the surface, I'm stumbling here, taking out the grass. All the roots in the top four inches, creating organic matter, but then you look underneath that, kind of a darker sand than we were seeing down below, but it's... Yeah, bring it out in the mainly, light and I'll try and... Mainly sand. Good sign with some roots in there. A little bit of organic batter, matter, but it's high mineral, high sand content. No worms. Here, what do you got there? It's about, that's the top layer. It's about as much organic matter as we see out here, but it's still only... Fraction only, of what was under that coyote yeah, bush. Yeah, exactly. And it's not even fully broken down stuff. It looks like whatever was weed waxed last year is kind of what's left on top. You know, not much of anything. That's amazing to me because we're about as wet in the year right now as we ever get. Yep. A little more some wood chips. So that's from former human interventions. And that would be Rosie. <laughs> yep. Hey, thanks. I, uh, I think of pioneer plants almost like forming a scab on the earth. Uh, when she's disturbed in some way, life is largely extinguished in an area. These are some of the first plants to come back in. Uh, they attract birds whose boot goes into the soil. Uh, and that in turn starts to create a network of mycelia and 
small creatures in that area. And a fertilization process begins, the regrowth of soil. So I hope this little demonstration of our coyote brush gives you a sense of the importance in permaculture planning, of noticing such things and taking advantage of them, and also uh, perhaps the importance of not just plowing those noxious weeds out of the way. You might think twice. Thanks for listening.